you all can do a little better than that. Let's, let's give another loud round of applause. Let's Aren't you glad to be here today? Yeah. Excellent. You may be seated. Good morning. To the Honorable Governor Asa Hutchinson, the Honorable Congressman French Hill, the Honorable Senator Linda Chesterfield, to all the members of the Philander Smith College Board of Trustees, cabinet members, alumni, family, friends, faculty and staff, and no doubt to our students. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Philander Smith College's 133rd commencement ceremony. I am Roderick Smothers, Sr., and I have the honor and privilege of serving as the 14th President, and again, I welcome you here today. Thank you. For the past year, our country has been embroiled in, health, in a health pandemic that has drastically changed our lives. In fact, I wish I could come up with words that would more accurately describe it because drastic just isn't good enough. During these unique times, I am truly humbled and grateful for the conscientious display of resilience throughout our community. No more resilience is shown than in those students who sit before us today. You are truly the resilient class. The power of such is evident in the commitments we see from our students who have navigated the disruptions and the changes to normal to not so normal, from our faculty who have worked diligently to develop and deliver a rigorous curriculum in an ever-evolving COVID-19 environment, and from our support staff who have created new ways of academic and social support in the absence of a traditional college engagement. As your president, I could not be more proud, and more optimistic about the path we have plotted as we have moved Philander forward. I could not be prouder of your resilience. I could not be prouder to be among the few who have gathered here today to send you off into the world to change it for the better, because indeed that is what we do here at Philander Smith College. Audience, our COVID protocols require that you keep your mask on until you leave the convention center. You all know that, of course. Also, we ask that you do not enter the stage area or leave your seats to take photographs or to speak to the graduates. Now, I know that's gonna be hard, but we ask that you please honor that today. There will be a professional photographer taking pictures as they exit the stage. This will allow us to maintain the very strict social distancing guidelines that we promised the governor and the mayor that we would do as we gathered here today. And let's thank our governor and our mayor for allowing us to gather here today. <laughs> Arkansas has been fortunate uh, to be one of the states that has remained at the lower tier of infection rates. And resultantly, the governor has been able to open our state back and allow us to have businesses operate and allow us to have convenings like the one we're in here today. As a point of reference, for any reason you feel faint or you require hospitality needs, please contact one of our ushers for today's program and you'll see them throughout the room. Uh, they're wearing black and white and they're really, really, really nice people. I promise you, they'll take good care of you. Our interpreters today are Miss Akia Peoples, and a team of interns from UA Little Rock. They will assist our guests through American Sign Language. Thank you, Ms. Peoples and graduate interns for your service. We will now prepare for the invocation led by Reverend John C. Richards. Followed by uh, Reverend Richards, Dr. Anthony Johnson will come to us and bring us formal greetings. Thank you.
us pray. Gracious and everlasting God, we start our day recognizing you, your eternal nature, your role as author and finisher of our faith, your goodness in the midst of chaos. As we recognize these students and other honored guests today, we start by inviting you as our special guest of honor, knowing that apart from you, we are hopeless. Today, we stand grateful for the students who sit here who have pushed through a pandemic to pursue their purpose in life. We're grateful for your sustaining grace as they navigated this new normal as students and future leaders. We're grateful for the opportunity these students have had to study at this esteemed institution, for the classes that have stretched them and stressed them, for the professors who have challenged them to excel academically and socially. We're grateful for the lasting friendships they have forged, the late night debates, pulling all nighters to finish out the semester. They did it together, solidifying friendships that they will take with them into their next station in life. We stand grateful for the families who are here today for these students, families who have supported, sacrificed, and prayed for this day to come. Today, those families sit here smiling from ear to ear because their prayers have been answered. As we enter this moment of celebration, I pray that these students feel affirmed, valued, and energized to change the world. You've allowed them to reach today with poise and persistence. May they carry that same spirit with them to go out into this world and make us proud. Ultimately, we ask, oh God, that you be pleased with our ceremony today. May it bring you glory and honor. In your name I pray, amen. Dr. Anthony Johnson, Interim Vice President for Academic Affairs, Chief Academic Officer at Philander Smith College. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance of the United States of America. Please remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner, followed by the Negro National Anthem. Thank you. National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed.
Thank you. You may be seated. You've already been seated. <laughs> it's my honor now to welcome to the podium our own U.S. Congressman, Representative French Hill. Good morning, and a hearty congratulations. Governor Hutchison, Senator Chesterfield, President Smothers, and the entire Philander Smith community, thank you and for the kind introduction to provide greetings this morning. Congratulations to the class of 2021. It's truly a privilege for me to be with you today and your families as you celebrate this incredible academic achievement. For the parents and families in the audience, I know you're proud to see your child or loved one make it happen today. I want to speak to the graduates in this room and leave you with a touch of experience from my life. Life is not always linear. There will be ups and downs. But out front lies your career. And the ultimate best career choice is the one that you have passion and values around. As you begin to navigate your life after graduation, work hard and work according to the values, the values that were enhanced here at Philander Smith. I'm proud to try to live my values every day in my work in Washington. Over the past four decades since I walked across this stage, I wake up each day and give thanks to God for the talents that he gave me. That's why I fight to be an inclusive, equitable, and authentic leader. I try to hold these principles close to everything I do, and as a result, I'm deeply honored to do the work that I tackle every day in the House of Representatives. And I encourage all of you to find that career path that you love and that can bring you happiness and fulfillment. I say fulfillment because it's the key to long-term success. Maybe Curtis James Jackson III put it best. What you really value in life is ownership, not money. If there's ever a choice, more money or more responsibility, you always opt for responsibility. What a senior year 
in this 2021. From mass to vaccines, from pandemic to career, your country is hungry for your youth, your talent, and your work ethic. I'm confident that all of you will lead successful lives, and I'm humbled to be here today on the day that marks the beginning of that next phase of your life. Godspeed. Thank you, Dr. Smothers. additional welcome remarks to us this morning. We have a strong supporter, retired educator, and I call her my senator. Please welcome to the podium the Honorable Linda, Sen Senator Linda Chesterfield. to the governor of the great state of Arkansas, uh, Congressman French Hill, my good friend, President Roderick Smothers, faithful faculty, scintillating seniors, congratulations. It is indeed an honor to be here to share this moment. The Rabbi Hillel, who lived before the time of Christ, said, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? But if I am only for myself, what am I? And if not now, when? You have had to struggle for yourself to make it to this day. You have had to overcome things that no other class has had to overcome. Sometimes it was money. Sometimes it was just the ability to get here. The computer didn't work. But you struggled through it because it was about who? You. And you knew it was important to yourself to succeed. But the only reason you wanted to succeed was for yourself. Who are you? You wanted to make your parents proud. You wanted to make the community proud. You wanted to show the world just how important it is for another class of Philander Smith College to come forth. And if not now, when? Now is the time to realize that grown folk pay their own bills, their own house note, <laughs> their own car note. <laughs> so as you go into the world as an adult, <clears throat> doesn't get easier. But guess what? The rewards are great. Congratulations, scintillating seniors. Go forward and do great things. Seniors, how many of you all are already paying your own bills? I'm just curious. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Congratulations. You all may know that Philander Smith College is one of about 45 institutions to recently receive uh, over $20 million in debt relief from the federal government. We want to thank our Congressman, Congressman Hill, who serves as the co-chair of the Bipartisan Task Force on HBCUs, he headed with uh, Congressman Alma Adams, uh, for helping to deliver that type of support to Philander Smith College. And we thank, yes, and we also thank our Senator, Senator Linda Chesterfield, who has just worked tirelessly in the legislature as well as staying uh, in front of the governor to make sure that Philander Smith College is at the forefront uh, of their priorities. And so thank you, Madam Senator. Thank you so very much. Let's give them both a round of applause. <laughs> Commencement is designed to mark a milestone in the life of college graduates or graduating seniors. Today, we celebrate the journey of our students who have arrived at this significant place in their lives. Members of the class of 2021, let me be among those you've heard today uh, uh, not one of the first, because you've been, you've been congratulated all day today, but let me be a proud president for a moment and just say to you how very proud I am of you today. 
Let's give our seniors another round of applause, family members and friends. And you have all of these supporters behind you, and I know that we have thousands of individuals who have chimed in with us virtually here today. We're all proud of you. We're very proud of you. Our global graduating senior class this morning represents students from the Bahamas, Nigeria, and of course the United States of America. Our graduating senior class of 2021 is like none other. In fact, you're one of the largest classes that this institution has seen, at least in my seven years of being president here. And I want to say again, congratulations. We can't say enough to our audience today about how appreciative we are of your presence here this morning. With us, we have VIP guests from local government and the corporate sector. We have current and former members of our Board of Trustees. We have the entire Philander Smith College Village. To my left over here, among the VIPs, we have the Honorable First Lady of this state. We have next to her, or close to her, my own first lady, Madam Katina Simeon. Uh, we have former trustee, Dr. Charles Donaldson, who is a emeritus trustee of this illustrious institution. We are in good company this morning. Let's give them all a round of applause. Now at this moment, if you would welcome back to the podium, Dr. Anthony Johnson for the observance and the occasion. For more than 144 years, Philander Smith College has celebrated teaching excellence, excellence in service, and excellence in providing access to post-secondary education to traditionally underserved populations. Philander Smith College has stood the test of time and proven itself to be an ordained place which holds so much promise, promise of a greater future, promise of new opportunities, and promise of life-altering connections with an institution that is preparing to change the world for the better. So today, we rejoice in the fruits of our energy and service as we come together to celebrate the end of one journey and the start of a new journey in the lives of our graduating seniors, the class of 2021. On behalf of the Office of Academic Affairs, I applaud you, I congratulate you, and I am confident in our future because of you. So at this time, I welcome to the podium your senior class valedictorian. You can applaud. Your senior valedictorian, Ms. Avery King. Class of 2021, I would like to welcome administrators, faculty, and staff of Philander Smith College, as well as our family, friends, and guests who have gathered here today to celebrate this amazing accomplishment. My name is Ivory King, and I am the valedictorian of the class of 2021. I would first like to thank God for guiding us through this amazing journey and helping us reach this glorious moment. I would also like to thank my parents for their consistent encouragement and motivation. In our time at Philander, Lord knows we've been through trials and tribulations. To be a college student during a worldwide pandemic has been a challenge that we never could have imagined. In the blink of an eye, 
face-to-face -face classes became virtual. We fought through this pandemic and faced losses unimaginable to those who were not in our circumstances. In addition to the stress of the pandemic, we also witnessed national protests and civil unrest, which prompted us to become advocates for social justice in our own communities. Throughout all of this, the class of 2021 has accomplished so many amazing feats, and I am so proud to stand here as your valedictorian. So let me brag. Let me first start by shouting out our class president, Ms. Erica Rice. Your unwavering advocacy for this class has not gone unnoticed. You were the perfect fit to lead the class that has done it all. The class of 2021 not only holds the current position of Mr. and Ms. PSC, but as juniors, we also held those esteemed positions. We also hold the positions of president and vice president of SGA. We have all, we have all conference athletes and Gulf Coast Athletic Conference champions. The class of 2021 holds the positions of cheer captains, Greek chapter presidents, RSO charter members, and much more. We even have a living legend who created a scholarship for her fellow Philanderians. We truly are the class that has done it all. The epitome of Philander women and men. The class of 2021 has made an impact on Philander that will last long after we depart. As we reflect on our time here at the P, we must not only appreciate what we have gained in our journey, we must also acknowledge what we have given along the way. The long nights studying, the early morning workouts, stressing the press in before 11.59, crying over grades, and trying to balance school and life. All of that to make it in this room, to walk this stage and end our journey at Philander. I am excited to see what the world has in store for us. We did everything we needed and wanted to do at Philander, and now it is time for us to show the world how a small HBCU in Little Rock, Arkansas, graduated academically accomplished students determined to change the world for the better. The class of 2021 has achieved so much, and we left our mark. We should all leave here today knowing that we will always be a part of our dear PSC. Thank you. Avery, I agree with everything that you said. You all have been an amazing class. Let's give them another round of applause. We're fortunate today to have several members of our Board of Trustees here with us and sitting on the platform. And I'm just going to ask if they would just please wait, stand and wave at you uh, from where they are, members of our Board of Trustees. In a few moments, uh, we're going to be conferring some degrees, your degrees, and I will tell you, uh, on yesterday, they voted to officially give me permission to give you your degrees today. And so you can give the board members another round of applause. They, they do some good work. And speaking of board members, it is my honor today to introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Sharice West Scantleberry, the Chief Executive Officer of the Winthrop Rockefeller Foundation and our own board chair. She's been with us now on the board for one term of five years and she's just entered into her second term. And I will tell you, we could not ask at Philander Smith College for a better board chair. From her early beginnings as a, as a housing advocate in New York City to lead programs that benefited the least of them, to her 21st century voice on the eradication of global, global poverty, this board chair, our speaker today, has been 
relentless in her quest to increase prosperity for families striving to move out of poverty. This transformational leader and change agent is the embodiment of social justice and the social justice mission that we carry out here at Philander Smith College. In fact, I would venture to say that it is the powerful justice charge mission of this institution that attracted this dynamic and powerful speaker today to be so involved with our institution. I don't like reading bios, and hers is printed in the program for you, but let me simply say this. As this is truly the era of powerful and dynamic women, we have an African-American Vice President of the United States. You saw the President of the United States flanked by two women, the other Nancy Pelosi. And I often wondered what it would be like to meet those powerful women. Then I realized that I have the chance literally almost every day to be engaged with powerful women like those, and she is my board chair. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the class of 2021, please join me in welcoming to the podium our speaker for the hour, our board chair, Dr. Sharice West Scannelberry. Thank you so much for that beautiful introduction. All right, y'all, I need these. Hold up, my cap. Sorry, having a wardrobe malfunction. Okay. I hope everyone is well this morning. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. And thank you to um, all of you who are here today, parents, um, state, of, state and, and federal officials, uh, the governor, just everybody. Just thank you all for being here and I appreciate this opportunity. To the graduates, congratulations on this accomplishment today. This is great. I can't see you smiling. I know you are under those masks, but this is absolutely great. This portion of your journey, like it was said earlier, the studying, all of the uh, all-nighters, looking toe up from the flow up as you try to do your work, ramen noodles, at least maybe that was me. I was like, I just ate ramen noodles all the time because it was the most affordable thing to eat. Um, so all of that part is over. Uh, but I want to take a moment or ask you if you would take a moment to recognize your families today, especially since tomorrow is Mother's Day. So I want to ask if you would stand up and say, we love you, Mom. And I'm not trying to just dance, but let's be clear. When we call, we call our mama. Let's be clear. Let's be honest about it. And I know I gave my poor mama the blues when I was in college. I know she was like, Lord, is the child gonna graduate, okay? But we appre I appreciate her so much. I know she was like, I should be sitting down there with it. It should be Sharice West, Sharice, I was gonna say Sharice West Scannelberry. I wasn't that at the time, but Sharice West and Sandra Aiken should be graduating, like two names on that diploma, because she was so, so great. So in this state of ours, where just 23% of us hold bachelor's degrees and only 16% of African-American black folks have a bachelor's degree. Each one of you sitting here is truly, truly special. And with this, and with you all being special, it is your responsibility to make not just our state better, but our nation better. And not to be overly dramatic, but never in the history of this country has there been a more urgent need for college graduates than right now. With the backdrop of this global pandemic, unending fight for social justice and the uncertainty of this post-pandemic economy that you read some things say it's going to be great and some other things about we about to go to hell in a handbasket. You know, when we read Dr. Edward Gordon's 2010 meltdown, our society is in flux and is more vulnerable and fluid than ever before. And if we consider the fact that we've gone from in this state agricultural to an industrial to an ideas economy, the need for knowledge-based skills and lifelong learners is just absolutely important. Right now, you all are preparing and prepared for jobs and technologies that don't yet exist to solve problems we don't even know we have yet. 
So graduates, we need you. We need each and every one of you sitting here. We need you to be engaged. We need you to be empowered. And we need you to be emboldened. So for just a few moments, I want to deviate from the usual go forth and prosper speech, although this is one of those, but I'm going to deviate a bit, to challenge you to overcome a hurdle that in my estimation encumbers us more than anything from reaching our full potential, and that is the fear and fear of failure. Perhaps the greatest president, baseball player, college professor, or musician never served, played, taught, or performed because he or she was afraid. You will hold a fresh new degree in your hands in just a few moments. Now is the time to be bold. CrossFit native and former OU coach Barry Switzer once said, some people are born on third base and go through life thinking they hit a triple. The only thing worse than being thinking you were born on third base and thinking you hit a triple is being afraid to get out of the batter's box in the first place. So I want to encourage you to take some swings. And since we uh, get three swings, I'm going to say three things. The first is, the greatest failure is not to try. The greatest failure is not to try. The value of taking risk has long been affirmed in human history. In ancient times, it was said that fortune favors the bold. Most recently, it's been said that you got to go out on a limb sometimes because that's where the fruit is. And in keeping with the baseball analogy, you can't steal first base if you don't get off of first base. You can't get on first base if you don't take a swing. So the risk of inaction can be even greater than the risk of taking an action. There is very little security in standing still when all else is changing around you. The chances are good that you will get left behind. This is certainly true in the workplace where knowledge and skills not only become obsolete, but entire markets, new businesses, new jobs constantly emerge. I don't have much patience for what my grandmama called the coulda, woulda, shoulda folks. And I'm asking each one of you sitting right here right now, don't be no coulda, woulda, shoulda folks. Second, one can fail but not be a failure. A baseball player who makes seven outs and 10 at bats over a career will probably go on to the Hall of Fame as a career 300 hitter. Michael Jordan, considered one of the best, greatest basketball players of all time, he said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career, lost almost 300 games, 26 times I've been entrusted with a game-winning shot and missed. He said, I have failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Abraham Lincoln ranked one of the best presidents we've ever had in most opinion polls. But did you know that he had a steady stream of failures until he was elected in 1960? From 1831 to 1855, 27 years, he lost his job, was defeated in his run for sitting, uh, uh, Illinois State Senator and House Speaker. He failed in business. His fiance died. He had a nervous breakdown. He was rejected from land officer position. He lost two runs for Congress. He had two unsuccessful runs at US Senate. He lost the nomination for vice president. So even now reading this, I'm like, damn, my brother should have gave up, right? But in 1860, he was elected the 16th president of the United States. I will let you know I have had 1,000 gazillion, 250 billion failures in my life. We would be here till next week if I even listed one of them. I mean, that was just one of them. That's how many of them there have been. Tons of them. But I emerged stronger, more grateful for friends and family who supported me, more secure in my ability. I have been tested, disappointed, embarrassed. There have been times I've even embarrassed myself, much less other people embarrass me. I had painfully won, knowing I was not defined by that loss. It was defined by how I handled my loss. So step out, be fearless and bold. You will have some losses. It's going to happen. And they're not going to be fun. But it makes the victories that much more sweeter. And then my third point is failure is not final. What is that old, that old saying? If you fall down seven times, get up eight. 
If you fall down eight, get up nine. If you fall down 10, get up again. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Oprah Winfrey said, I want you to know what I know for sure. Don't be afraid. All you have to do and all you have to know is who you are. There's no such thing as failure. There's no such thing as failure. What other people might label or might call a failure, I have learned is God's way of pointing you in a whole new direction. Marianne Williamson's favorite quote, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God, and soon you will be a graduate of Philando Smith College. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened by shrinking so that other people feel, won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it's in every one of us. And as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same, to also shine. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So this is a commencement. It's time for another start. Get down off of those stands onto the field and take action. Graduates, the future success of our state and our nation depends on your preparation, your vision, and your boldness. If a decision is before you that is prudent, worthy, and wise, take the risk. And always know the greatest failure is not to try. You will fail, but failure doesn't define you. And most important, failure is not final. So graduates, be your brilliant, talented, gorgeous, fabulous selves and leave out here swinging. Thank you. Thank you, Chairwoman uh, West Scantaberry, for such a timely and uplifting charge to all of our graduates. You, indeed, have inspired them today to go forth and be great. As we move to the conferring of the degree part of the ceremony, we will begin with the honorary degrees. Honorary degrees are awarded to recognize individuals who make notable contributions to society. Today, Philander Smith College will be awarding three of these prestigious awards to distinguished philanthropists, educators, and advocates for social justice. I now welcome Dr. Tiana Jenkins, Philander Smith College alumna and Board of Trustee member to the podium. Good morning. Mr. President, I am pleased to present our first candidate for the Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters degree, the Honorable Asa Hutchison. Governor Hutchison, will you join me at the podium? As presented to the Board of Trustees, the resolution reads as follows. Governor Asa Hutchison, the 46th governor of the great state of Arkansas, is a strong vocal candidate and advocate for higher education in the state, including Philander Smith College. Governor Hutchison has been instrumental in supporting Philander Smith College effort to collaborate with corporate and nonprofit organizations to aid in the state's workforce development efforts. Philander Smith College received two million from the state of Arkansas from the state through governor, the governor's workforce initiative to launch and implement the workforce innovative and strategic 
Economic, Public, Private, and Partnership known as WISE P3 program. WISE P3 has collaborated with entities in the state to provide computer coding, cybersecurity, STEM, training experiences, internships, and apprenticeships for Philander students and area public school students. And it jumpstarted the college efforts to develop its nursing, cybersecurity, and engineering academic programs. As detailed fully in the biographical sketch, Governor Hutchison's commitment to education and economic development has impacted Arkansas and Philander Smith College, leaving a legacy that is worthy of him receiving the Doctor of Humane Letters. Again, Dr. Smothers, the Board of Trustees approves and supports the request to bestow upon Governor Asa Hutchison the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters degree. Thank you, Trustee Jenkins. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Arkansas, I hereby confer the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Governor Hutchins Hutchinson, I wish to extend my heartfelt congratulations. Audience, will you please stand as we congratulate our governor who is now Dr. Governor Hutchinson, Hutchinson with the honorary doctorate. I'm going to hand him his diploma. You should know that we hooded him prior to the event so that we could honor all COVID protocols. So we will give him his diploma and our Philander Smith College Bible. We all need the Lord, don't we? All right, Governor Hutchinson. Thank you, Dr. Smothers, and to the Board of Trustees, thank you for bestowing this honor on me. As governor, uh, you get appreciated every once in a while. You get hammered at even more often. Uh, but this honor today will go with me a lifetime, and I'm very grateful for the work of Flanders Smith College. I'm grateful for its history, what it means to the state of Arkansas, and what it impacts each of the students and graduates that are here today. And this is, again, a high honor that I have received, and I'm very, very grateful for it. Whenever I think of Flanders Smith College, I think of its history that is unique. I think of its service that is critically important to our state and nation. From workforce innovation and training to its school of allied and public health, it is an institution that Arkansas values. And I want to uh, recognize its work and its contribution that has made a difference in our state. To Congressman Hill, uh, the support of uh, our federal partners. I want to recognize Senator Chesterfield, who's been the strongest advocate that I have known for Flanders Smith College. But I want to say one word to the graduates because uh, you're the one that's going to make the future difference, and that is simply find your path. May it lead to success. May your path lead to service. May it lead to eternal reward. And we have presented that I will greatly cherish the Flander Smith Bible, and in it, it talks about justice being the habitation of God's throne. We live and breathe the world of justice. And as you find your path, let your path contribute to justice, and may it contribute to bringing unity in our country and our state together. Thank you, and God bless you, and thank you for this honor.
Good morning. Mr. President, I am pleased to present our second candidate for the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters degree, Mrs. Mabel Donaldson. Mrs. Donaldson, will you join me at the podium? As presented to the Board of Trustees, the resolution reads as follows. Mrs. Donaldson's commitment to education and service has impacted the great state of Arkansas, including our dear Philander Smith College. A dedicated educator, Mrs. Donaldson spent over 37 years of her life teaching and leading others within the public school system and in higher education. Further, never forgetting her love for dear old PSC, Alumna Donaldson, along with her husband, Dr. Charles W. Donaldson, has raised over $400,000 to support the education of Philander students over the last decade. As detailed fully in the biographical sketch, Mrs. Donaldson's commitment to education and service has impacted the state of Arkansas and the United Methodist Church. Her service in moving Philander, College, Philander Smith College forward has left a lasting footprint that is worthy of her receiving the Doctor of Humane Letters. Again, Dr. Smothers, the Board of Trustees approves and supports the request to bestow upon Mrs. Donaldson the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters degree. Dr. Smothers. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Arkansas, I hereby confer the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters degree with all rights, privileges, responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Mrs. Donaldson, I wish to extend my heartfelt congratulations. Audience, will you please join me in giving Dr. Mabel Donaldson a round of applause. Dr. Smothers, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, graduates, students, families, platform guests, alumni, and fellow honorees, good morning. I must first say that I am humbled and honored to receive the Doctorate of Humane Letters from my alma mater. It is an honor that I could not have imagined in my wildest dreams. It is very meaningful to me that I am being honored for my life's work, which has been guided by divine intervention. My PSC story begins with entering Philander Smith College in September 1964. I met a young man in September 1965 in the college bookstore. We celebrated our 51st wedding anniversary in January of this year. My mother and I received our bachelor degrees May 1968. We were the first mother and daughter duo to graduate on the same date. For the sake of time, fast forward to my 70th birthday, my big 7-0. I celebrated in Kelly Hall, you know it as the Office of Institutional Advancement, working on the brick orders for the Legacy Walkway, which is now in the front of the Cox Building. As Philanderians, one way in which my husband and I continue our commitment to Philander Smith College is through the Dollars for Scholars program at Wesley United Methodist Church. This program is very important to us because many years ago, individuals contributed to various scholarship funds to ensure that we were assisted in completing our college education. It is important that we all make a difference in the lives of others in any way that we can and as often as we can. Thank you, and may all of you continue to be blessed.
Mr. President, I am pleased to present the last candidate for the Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters degree, posthumously to Dr. James Rush. Mr. Rush, will you join me at the po podium on the, oh, sorry, thank you, <laughs> excuse that. Mrs. Rush, will you join me at the podium on behalf of Dr. Rush as presented to the Board of Trustees, the resolution reads as follows. Dr. Rush dedication to Philander Smith College, social justice and higher education is undeniable. A thoughtful and gentle soul, Dr. Rush was known as an expert in global philosophies and religions. He was a master of peace and compassion and served Philander Smith College for over 40 years. For decades, Dr. Rush's physical presence was a part and a heart of the soul of Philander Smith College. Even in his absence, his spirit and his invaluable teachings remain with us daily. His commitment to moving Philander forward left a lasting mark on the lives he touched at Philander Smith College, and there is not a candidate worthier of receiving the Doctor of Humane Letters than Dr. James Rush. Again, Dr. Smothers, the Board of Trustees approves and supports the request to bestow upon Dr. James Rush the posthumous honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters degree. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Arkansas, I hereby confer the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto posthumously to our good friend, Dr. James Rush. Mrs. Rush, thank you so much for being here today to represent the legacy of our good friend. I wish to extend my heartfelt congratulations to you and your family and on behalf of our Philander community. Audience, will you please join me in giving a round of applause for our recipient, the late Dr. James Rush. Mrs. Rush, if you look to your right, you will see all of the colleagues with whom Dr. Rush worked. And I know that if they were to give me a grade for this year, I'd get an A for this moment today. Congratulations again. We present to you the credentials for Dr. Rush. Let's take a picture here. Good morning. It is with great pleasure and gratitude that I accept this honorary doctorate on behalf of my late husband, Dr. James Rush. And I thank President Smothers, the members of the Board of Trustees, and the Faculty Senate for honoring him in this way. I remember when Jim was to receive the Living Legend Award when he found out that he had been nominated by his students, he was so deeply touched that he cried. Jim was a very humble person, and when anyone shared with him how he had made their lives better or made a difference in their lives, he was genuinely surprised. So I know that he would be deeply touched and humbled to receive this recognition. Jim felt honored and privileged to serve Philander Smith College and to work alongside the faculty, the staff, and administration. And most importantly, to be a part of the lives of each and every student. So I'd like to take a moment and recognize the graduating class and let you know that if Dr. Rush was here with us today, that he would join me in being overjoyed for you and in awe of you. Your dedication, your hard work, and your commitment to your dreams. 
So congratulations on your achievement. And thank you again for this distinguished recognition of Dr. Rush and his service. Thank you. Philander Smith College community is truly a loving and supportive one. Each day, we get the pleasure of experiencing the love and compassion of the many people who make Philander Smith College the special place that it is. On today, we honor a scholar who we unfortunately lost this academic year. As a student in the Division of Business Administration, Kentarius Peanut Scott was one of those special persons. Not only did Kentarius dream of earning his Bachelor's of Business Administration degree, he also worked hard to its attainment. Unfortunately, Kentarius' life was cut short before that dream could be realized. Throughout his matriculation, Kentarius inspired so many on this, so on this day, we honor him. Kentaris was not only a philander man, but was a son of philander and will forever be part of our family. At this time, I invite President Smothers to the podium. In recognition and honor of Contarius's commitment to the high ideals of this great institution, we present this honorary Bachelor of Science degree to his family. <laughs> On behalf of the chairwoman of our Board of Trustees, Dr. Sharice West Scannelberry, and members of the board, this is a permanent expression of our love and appreciation for Contarius. May his soul rest well, and may his life continue to inspire those who follow him. We called him Peanut, and so because it is Mother's Day tomorrow, and we did not initially plan to ask his mother to come up, I thought that this would be an extra special treat for his mother, and so thank you for allowing us to honor Contarius in this very special way. to be able to officially recognize Contarius. What an honor and a privilege to officially recognize 
the Honorable Governor Asa Hutchinson, my good friend and alumna of Philander Smith College, Mrs. Mabel Donaldson, and no doubt, the late Dr. James Rush. Y'all ready? Yeah. And now, students, family and friends, we have arrived at that portion of the program where we recognize the success of our graduating seniors and we award their degrees. The conferring of degrees on our graduates signifies a new milestone in their lives. We as administrators, faculty, and staff are proud of you and we proudly send you forth as young men and women to represent Philander men and Philander women as only you now know how to do. Will the class of 2021 please stand? <laughs> Chairwoman West Scannelberry, will you join me at the podium? Chairwoman West Scannelberry, I am proud to present to you the 2021 graduating class of Philander Smith College. President Smothers, the bylaws of Philander Smith College empowers the Board of Trustees to authorize the President to award academic degrees recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board. By the authority best vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Philander Smith College, I authorize you to confer the appropriate degrees. Candidates, you may be seated. At this time, I invite Dr. Anthony Johnson back to the podium to present the candidates from the five divisions. President Smothers, Chairwoman West Scantaberry, ladies and gentlemen, we will now confer the undergraduate degrees. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree, the Bachelor of Social Work degree, the Bachelor of Business Administration degree, and the Bachelor of Art degree please stand? By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Arkansas, I hereby confer the Bachelor of Science, the Bachelor of Social Work, the Bachelor of Business Administration, and the Bachelor of Arts degrees with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Will the students from the Division of Arts and Humanities please approach the stage? Jada Alexis Barfield, cum laude. Shantice Antoinette Bogard. Jamise Lambert. Antoinette Elian. Brianna Ellis. Zabrian Rush, Russ, Terrell Marcus Johnson, Asia Patrice Webster, Dorothy Antoinette Patrice Williams, Will 
the students from the Division of Education please approach the stage? Jada Miller. Jesse Beasley. Rakaya Lewis. Aaliyah Lindsay. Jessica Moore, cum laude. Shimon Sessions. Dejalen Austin. Paul Dwayne Hansberry II. Caleb Rashad Ficklin. Kevin Deshaun Cobb. Eddie Dewan Cheers. Joshua Jarrell Paul Lathan. Nikaila Brene Holloman. <laughs> Elijah Aaron Chevalier. Kadeja Cheyenne Marks Hines, distinction in field. Elijah Verge the third. Will the students from the Division of Natural and Physical Science please approach the stage? Jaslyn Alicia Gales, cum laude. Akila Barksdale. Anika Monique Clark, cum, magna cum laude. Vivian Emma Nizad. Emma Reniza, Magna Cum Laude. Arika Welly Wesley, Kelly Wesley. Lasharika James. Lakedra Lee, Lene J. Fisher, Myra Lee Henderson, magna cum laude, distinction in field, Naya Jaquetta Griffin, cum laude. Australia, Drushel Gaither. Thank you. 
Rachel Nicole Johnson. Ashton Jeray Hall, magna cum laude. Raven Hinton, cum laude. Veronica Ariana Lindsay. Alan Patton. Hannah James Black. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Lorian Toady, cum laude. Shaquela Smitty. Calvin Jermaine Moten. Bianca Danielle. Bianca Danielle Scipio. Lasana O'Kara Steele, cum laude. Lydia Najame Wilhite. Demaya Hammond King. Paola Ashti Vasquez. Summa cum laude, distinction in field. Timoyen Adebisi, magna cum laude. Olefumilayo Adediriwura, summa cum laude, Distinction in field. Blessing Adachi Itoto, magna cum laude. Rashan Jarrell McLean. Will the students from the Division of Business Administration please approach the stage? Brianna K. Clark, magna cum laude, distinction in field. Keelan Ahmad Patterson. Marquise Dwayne Browder. Alexis Dejuana Burns, summa cum laude, distinction in field. Amari Page Woods, magna cum laude, distinction in field. Antonio Landrell Ford, Lavon LaShawn Morgan. <laughs> Jacinda D. Willis. <laughs> D. 
Griselda M. McAllister, Distinction in Field. Maya Destiny Hunter. Leah J.L. Collins, Distinction in Field. Michaela Lachey Sprawling, Summa Cum Laude, and Distinction in Field. Demisha Lanise Johnson, summa cum laude. DeMarco Dantrell Brown, Jr. Darius Ryan Williams, cum laude. Tatiana Lashandra Sharkey, cum laude. <laughs> Taranika Dinsmore, summa cum laude, distinction in field. Brianna Rashawn Washington. Kennedy Elise Banks, third rank in class, summa cum laude and distinction in field. Jalen Morris. Marie Lynette Larf. Mark Terrio Ricard, the second distinction in field. Jalen S. Rutley, cum laude. Jaquez Atkins. Nicholas Fidel Alvarez. Celine Dion Chisholm, summa cum laude, distinction in field. DeMarco James Griffin. Tangela Rashawn Todd. Andrea Siobhan Williams, summa cum laude, distinction in field. Will the students from the Division of Social Sciences please stand and approach the stage?
Avri Zier King, first rank in class, summa cum laude, distinction in field, Raven Franks, Haley Elaine Lair, magna cum laude, distinction in field. Karen Marie Lewis, cum laude. Nikayla Essence Strother, summa cum laude, distinction in field. Noel Melvin Lyons, magna cum laude, distinction in field. Malik. Monte Martin. Kaylin Sierra Mills. Autumn Nicole Williams. Freddie Imani Owens. Jari Ragsdale. Tiana Aaliyah Esau. Dekaya Sanders, cum laude. Talia Gaston. LaKayla F. Waters. Fava Chudibin Agazi, magna cum laude, distinction in field. Jetara Annette Lockhart. Laquisha Guillory. Shantasia A. White. Mercedes Shatiana Brown. Kevin LaVar Spite Lee Jr. Jasmine Page Burks. Terrian O'Shea Livingston. Icy Zaire. Marshall. Tatiana Thornton. Alexis Lachey Sims, cum laude, distinction in field. Jaron Cooper. Faha A. Taha. Jasmine Monique Walker. Cheyenne Nicole Bonwell. Taisha Omega Liggins Atkins. Renona Lavette Mays. 
Tarika Rochelle Davidson. Tiffany Shante Rhodes. Sadie Marina Jones. Yakeem Muhammad. Muhammad Y. Yakeem. Kum Lati. Janelle Capri Tendo. Sheree Kayla Reed. Via Faith, Claudia McCullough. Magna Cum Laude, Distinction, Distinction in Field. Christopher Rucker II. Summa Cum Laude, Distinction in Field. Jonathan Parks, Sr., cum laude, distinction in field. Boyd Michael Woody, summa cum laude, distinction in field. Jordan McIntosh. Jaquela Sherm, cum laude, distinction in field. Jemiah King. Diamond Dejeuner Lee. Jeremy Ricardo Alexander, Jr., second rank in class, summa cum laude, and distinction in field. Alizé Culpepper. Izell Joseph Bailey, Jr. Jayla Simone Matthews. Chandler Eason. Latia Anya King. Jillian Talani Blount, cum laude. Micaiah Lene Gent. Shannon Westbrook, Jr. Alondria Logan. Erica Loren Rice. Students, we know that we ask you to uh, suspend the photography, and we promise you that right after this, you will be able to go back and get your photos taken, okay? We need to move on with the program so that we can, we can 
Make sure you're official here. With Dr. That, Smother. Yes. Uh, we have one correction of a name that okay. we'd like to do. Maya Henderson. Okay. <laughs> Duly noted. So members of the class of 2021, stand up. Please turn around and face the audience. <laughs> members of the class of 2021, you have been duly certified as members of the graduating class of 2021. You may now turn your tassels from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in recognizing all of these persons before you. The class of 2021 official graduates. Let's give them a round of applause. <clears throat> graduates, you may now be seated. I'm celebrating with you. I'm celebrating with you. Yes, I am. That's for you all. See how happy they are? All right. Graduates, your journey is a process, and a part of that process includes induction into the National Alumni Association. Will Mr. Thurman Green III, PSC alum of 2011, please come forward to induct our graduates. Congratulations, graduates. In the absence of our national president, Mr. Roderick Dunn, who is unable to attend today's ceremony, my name is Thurman Green. I have the distinct pleasure of inducting each of you into the National Alumni Association of Flanders Smith College Incorporated. Will all graduates please stand and raise your right hand Now repeat after me the following, fled, the following pledge of loyalty to Philander Smith College. I pledge to perpetuate a continuing interest in the welfare of our college, to promote the welfare of Philander Smith College, its graduates and former students, to support our college programs and services, within the scope of Philander Smith College alumni activities to foster the cause of higher education at Philander Smith College, to encourage a spirit of loyalty, friendship and youthfulness through a lasting fellowship between Philanderians and the college, to render services to graduates and former students of Philander Smith College by giving of myself to my alma mater, graduates of the class of 2021. I now declare you members of the National Alumni Association of Philander Smith College. You may be seated.
What a day, what a morning, what an exciting time for this class of 2021, our graduate, graduated now class. I'm so, so very proud of you. Madam Chair, thank you for your very powerful message. I was once of the opinion that failure was not an option. But after listening to you today, I know that failure is inevitable. But it is how we handle those failures, how we get back up after those failures. And we will probably fail, as you said, over a thousand times. God knows that I have. But it is how we get back up and how we get back to that base, back to that and, and swing. Keeps, I, I loved your message. I hope, did you all get something from the chair's message? I did. I certainly did. Thank you, Madam Chair. Everyone is aware that Philander Smith College is one of 11 historically black colleges and universities affiliated with the United Methodist Church. We take pride in our United Methodist traditions. Uh, John Wesley, the founder of United Methodism, shares these words with us as we contemplate our journeys forward. To do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, at all the times that you can, to all the people that you can, as long as you ever can. Graduates, we have equipped you with the powerful mission statement that we hope is embedded in your hearts. You are now graduated, academically accomplished students, and we are now charging you to take your degrees, take the justice that is embedded in your hearts, and go out and change the world for the better. We left you with some values. We call them the PSC Timeless Human Values. You all know them because we've been reciting them to you, and you've been reciting them back to us since your freshman year. And my heart was warm when I saw many of you still wearing your medallions from your new beginning ceremony. That represented when you arrived as freshmen on this campus. Our timeless human values are centered around respect, respect for yourself, respect for others, and to always respect the P for Lander Smith College. Respecting the P is to respond to what Mr. Thurman just charged you to do, to always remember this institution when you go out and when your successes are accomplished. Reach back, come back and mentor a student. Send a check back to the advancement office and start a scholarship for the students who come behind you. Leadership, scholarship, service, and spirituality. These are the values along with a powerful mission statement and now an education with which we leave you. We pray that you will go out and change the world for the better. In the spirit of John Wesley, of doing all the good that you can to all the people that you can at all times, at all the times that you can, we are excited today that thanks to a generous contribution from the Jack and Jill Foundation of $54,000 and from some additional contributions that we have received from our alums and other friends of this college, I'm excited to share with you, and the board approved this on yesterday, so thank the board as well, that all of your balances have been cleared and paid. I think you should stand up and give the board a round of applause. Run around a chair or do something. Now, if you don't have a balance, then you don't, you, there's nothing to be excited about. But if you've got a balance, know that your balance is no more. We thank 
the Jack and Jill Foundation. We thank our alums, we thank our friends for making this moment, this opportunity possible. And as the SGA president, Mr. Keelan Patterson, sat in the board meeting on yesterday and the, he heard the board approve this, I told him that I had to swear him to secrecy and, and I think you did a good job, right? At least they're acting like they didn't know. Good, very good. Congratulations, you all. This has been a tough year for all of us. Uh, you are the resilient class, and we are so, so, so very proud of you. Let us now prepare for the college's alma mater, which will be led by Dr. Stephen Hayes and our graduates. Following the alma mater, we will receive the benediction by Reverend Ronnie Milliau. Following the alma mater, we ask that the audience remain in their seats as the platform exits and as we maintain the decorums that we have established. You've been a great audience. You've been a great community of supporters. Again, congratulations to the graduating balance-free class of 2021. May God bless and keep each and every one of you. Thank you. Let us all stand and celebrate this wonderful day, this wonderful occasion with the singing of our alma mater. Dear alma mater, tried and true, we'll win respect and love for you. We pledge our hearts to you each day to do our best bad work and play. Dear PSC, when from your fold we'll lift the dear old green and gold. Or I'm a strive to me when college days when college days are at an end our hearts will let fur towards you bend with loyalty we'll always be a part of you dear P S Brothers and sisters, would you bow your head as we offer this final blessing? Gracious God, one thing we know for sure, you are good. Grandmother was right when she said you are better to us than we've ever been to ourselves. Thank you, Father, that you continuously provide for us. Even in the midst of a pandemic, you yet prove you're faithful. And so, God, today as we celebrate the milestone, this milestone in the life of our graduates, I pray, oh God, your peace upon them, that when they wake up on Monday morning, that they'll be reminded that they are well able. And the God that has brought them this far will indeed carry them the rest of the way. It's in Jesus' name we pray, and the people of God said together, amen.